This is going to be a first video of our video series in which we're going to look at BuildBox 3 templates, explore them, and switch out with some of the new nodes that are available with BuildBox 3.11. We're going to start with a asymmetric platformer. Let's open it up, press play, and see what the game is. So this game, as we can see, has no limits for jumping, it collects points. And if we collide with an obstacle, it's game over. First, let's explore and see how this game is built. So if we take a look at the mind map. We have three UIs, start UI, game UI, and game over UI. Let's look at the start UI. So in start UI, we have points label, then displays best points. And then we have a title, a subtitle, a start button with function set to default, and a background. Let's look at the game UI. Game UI have points label that displays current points. A shader that has a gradient from gray to transparent so that the points would stand out better and a Game Over Observer. Game Over UI has a points label that displays current points, title that displays Game Over text, start button with function set to restart, and a background with a opacity of 1.8. Let's take a look at the 3D world, and we have gravity set to negative 50, so that the object would seem heavier. Okay, let's go inside 3D world, and let's look at our assets. So let's start with debris. So for debris, we have physics set to dynamic and collision group none. And inside debris, we just have a 3D model, which is a square. Let's take a look at ground. Physics set to static, collision group none. Go inside, and we have a 3D model with a plane that is set to green. For platform, we have physics set to static. Go inside and we have animation, which is uses a square and a green color. For obstacle, we have physics set to kinematic. Collision group is set to enemy. If we go inside, we have animation 3D and we have a pyramid with a color red. For point, we have collision group set to coin and we have no physics enabled for it and we have an animation node. which has as effect of coin being collected. Inside our point, we have our 3D model, with the color set to yellow. Then we have a if collide node, affected asset set to character. And when character collides with a point, we add a point and trigger a defeat which runs the animation for point collection and has a delay of 0.5 seconds before the object gets removed. For character, we have physics set to dynamic, collision group set to character, and we have a move node that is set to negative 10 in Z direction. Let's go inside character and we have the 3D model a sphere with the color set to yellow, a move node, a touch that triggers jump, and jump force is set to 20, and if collide, affected asset set to obstacle, and if the character collides with the obstacle, the defeated get triggered, which triggers an explosion node, and a delay of one second before a game over event is triggered. 
Now let's explore our scene. So this is our start scene. In our start scene, we have camera. Position follow set to character. And follow force, follow force of Y is set to zero so that the camera doesn't follow when the character is jumping. We have a light sun that is positioned way up in the sky. Then we have a level. We have a start border and an end border and a character that is positioned above ground. And then we have ground. We also have four scenes. So let's take a look at scene one. So on scene one, we have a start border and an end border. Then we have an obstacle on the ground and three platforms that create this arc. And we have an obstacle on top of the platform, ground, and a point. And the other scenes are constructed the same way, except the arrangements are different. So now let's look what we can switch out to use what's available in BuildBox 3.1.1. So let's start with the point. So inside point, we have if collide and we have an add point. There is a newer version of add point available. And let's look how it's different. So it has more options. We also have available a new signal input to reset your count. So let's just switch to use the new one, remove the previous one, set points, coins option to points, and let's see if it still runs the same. So we can see that the points are still counting and we're all good. Next, let's look what we can do with character. Under character, we have a move node. Let's switch out to use a brain box for a move node. Let's go click add brain box, select move, and let's use the same value set to negative 10. And let's remove zero from Y so that the gravity can affect it. We can delete our previous move node. Let's play the game. And we can see that its function is the same. Okay, and inside our character, now we have this new move component group. Now let's switch out jump with a brain box. Go to our 3D world, click add brain box, select jump. Now we added a jump brain box. Go inside character, and here's our new jump brain box. If you take a look, the jump brain box uses a UI button instead of touch and the UI button is set to screen. So whenever the screen is pressed, which triggers the jump. If you take a look at the jump node, the previous jump node had the jump count sent to one. But in our gameplay, as we can see, that doesn't do anything. In the new jump node, we have a reset input signal and we have a jump limit. So let's remove our previous nodes and let's add a jump limit. Under jump, let's set jump limit to two. And then from our start node, let's use a collide. If our character collides with any object, we will reset the jump count. Press play. And now let's see if we have a limit working. As you can see, we can't jump more than twice. which makes our game more challenging. Now let's upgrade our explosion. So if we look up explosion, we have a node, debris explosion. Let's switch to use the new debris explosion. Delete the previous one. And let's decrease the count to 20. Let's run. If we collide, we can see that we have the new explosion working. And we can try going to 100. See how that's going to look. And there's our 100 cubes. 
we'll end our video here. So in this video, we replace some of the nodes with the new ones that are available. And we use the new jump node to limit how much jumps we have in a platformer and control how much debris we can produce. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe to our channel.